When observing nature, we always observe the cardinal rule. That is, animals will always attempt to find the greatest source of food while spending the least amount of energy. Today, Jane Andrews observes that she sees humans the same way. This is A Walk in the Park. I catch myself thinking, I cannot be the only one who's noticing the decomposition of the English language. If animals are looking to spend less energy to get from point A to point B, are we doing the same thing with our communication? Are abbreviations abbreviating our lives down to the least common denominator? IDK, that is, I don't know, but some abbreviations are actually more difficult to say than the words themselves, which then doesn't make any sense. As part of my HR responsibilities at work, I interview new applicants. There is nothing that brings an interview to a grinding halt faster than thought spacers. Words, you know, that are, you know, inserted in order to, you know, delay completing a sentence. The most recent offender is the overuse of the word like. It's gotten like to be like a contagious condition that like spreads throughout the staff and like once it's there, it's like almost impossible to like remove. So were you a manager or were you like a manager? I found myself so distracted counting how many times he said like that I wasn't listening to his answers at all. And whatever happened to adverbs? Having created hundreds of advertising campaigns in my day, I would have been raked over the coals if I came up with the cell line, drive safe. How did that get past the boardroom? How did millions of dollars of airtime get bought backing incorrect use of sentence structure? How many people out there are yelling back at their TVs, Lee, drive safe Lee. I find it refreshing when an advertiser actually uses an adverb correctly. It's not that hard. It's only one syllable. And its proper usage prevents the advertiser from insulting the intelligence of the very audience they are targeting. I write down my scripts because I, too, have the tendency to bypass my composition lessons. Mostly, I believe people listening deserve the dignity and respect of my not implementing shortcuts. Drive safely. You've been listening to A Walk in the Park with Jane Andrews, broadcasting each week at this time. A Walk in the Park is brought to you by Wild Birds Unlimited on Route 2 in Warwick.